This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Sussex Farms for Farming Simulator 19. This map has made its return. This map did a debut in Farm Sim 17 and if I understand it correct, this was Alien Gem's very first map uh, that he has put out. And uh, it is back in Farm Sim 19 and seems to have quickly gained quite a following uh, as far as a map. And Alien Jim has definitely gained quite a following as far as a map maker. Let me read you a bit of the description before we go into this any further. It says, Welcome to Sussex Farms. This map is based on a similar area around Sussex, UK. This map has many farms with enough places, areas to build your own. Three farms have been have shared storages for seed and fertilizer that need to be filled for later use of filling machinery. Under miscellaneous, there are two additional mods uh, that are going to help you with filling certain areas. Uh, so this map does have additional fill types in it. Uh, you have a few greenhouses on the map that need water and manure for an hourly payout, but there are they are also linked to transport contracts with custom pallets. So that's pretty cool. So these greenhouses, they don't make pallets, but you could do a contract uh, where you basically pick up a pallet of, let's say, tomatoes and haul it somewhere else. There are a few wooden sheds around the map where you can find various triggers for removing hedges, collisions, and other things. There's free water and lime on the map, season support. And with that, let's go ahead and jump on in. We're going to pick all of the standard mods that we typically activate when we do these mod videos. Should be about it. Go ahead and pull up the log. And there we go. Map loads up very, very quickly. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. So anyone that played this map in Farm Sim 17 is going to recognize a lot of this PDA awful quickly. You can see we have all of our standard crop types here available on the map. And if we take a look at the lands area, we start out by owning area six which is basically the main farm five hundred thirty five thousand dollars we also own field five fifty thousand dollars and we own the bga down here to the south twenty thousand and five hundred dollars very very affordable plots of land let's take a look at some of the bigger fields so field one four hundred thousand dollars field two four hundred sixty eight thousand dollars Field 25, $343,000. Now, this is an interesting complex across the street. We have four fields kind of in a square pattern. Most of those are between thirty dollars and $44,000. So overall, very affordable land prices. And this over here, this is, I'm going to look forward to coming over here and checking this out. This is something I had a lot of fun with finding in the 17 version of the map. And take a look at all those icons. There are a ton of cell points on the map for sure. And then there's a bunch of these little white icons where you can buy things or do other interactive things. So you can not only buy various things, you can sell products, obviously. Now you can see that there are cows, pigs, and chickens already embedded on the map, as well as horses, which is, of course, new to Farm Sim 19. Now let's take a look at all of the cell points. And there are a ton of cell points. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cell points that accept most of our standard crops, and then a whole boatload of additional cell points that buy various one off type products. We have several cell points that are going to buy water, a couple cell points that buy our milk, wood chips, chaff, hay straw and grass, 
And then we have cell points for diesel fuel. This is DEF, so we can buy and sell DEF. Air, right, we can, we can sell air. The purified water plant wants air. And the scuba diving club will buy air for you or from you. And you can buy and sell manure and slurry. And there is an icon for pig food. We can't buy it, but I sell it. I mean, we can't sell it, but I suspect we can buy it. Also have lime and herbicide there. Nothing is listed as having a price for that. Take a look here at our vehicle overview. You're going to see that we have a whole ton of vehicles. All of it does have quite a bit of age on it and quite a bit of running hours. And as a result, there is various they're in various stages of disrepair as far as the maintenance gauge goes so that is a nice little spin and i suspect if we jump into these we're going to find that they have various levels of fuel also while we do have animal areas we do not start out by owning any animals and we do have contracts on the map specifically we have here offer Owner offers a reward of $12,000 to transport items from Windmill Hill to the airport. And there are a couple cool little contracts I want to talk to you about on the map also as we kind of drive around. So with that, let's go ahead and explore the main farm here. Start up here at the farmhouse. But wait, before we do that, let's take a look at our starting fleet. I'm kind of getting ahead of ourselves. So we start out with... Two tractors, the Fent Favorite 515C, 41 hours on that one. Ace IH7210 Pro, 39 hours on that one. And the Massey Ferguson Harvester, the 7347S, 41 hours on that particular unit. We also have the Free Flow 25 foot header, the Lizard pickup truck, and the TKD302 trailer. We have the Southford Plow and the Coon Cultimer Cultivator. We have the Vanderstand Spirit R300S Cedar, 30 hours on that one. We have the Axis Fertilize Spreader. We have the Inbrock Weeder. We have Front Loader Arms, Bale Handler, Bucket, Round Bale Type Fork, Pallet Fork, Bale Spike. We have our Bale Header Trailer, Pair of Weights. And then we have the AJ Tech, Alien Gym Technologies, Farmhouse Doormat. This is the sleep trigger. Pretty cool. So the house doesn't have the sleep trigger. The doormat does. Let's go here and take a look under miscellaneous because the description did say that there were a couple mods over here. So we have the MKU8 modded version of that trailer and a modded version of the MKU32 trailer. And you're going to see that these typically will hold water or milk, but now they haul air, water, milk, fuel, def, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, regular water, and or no, stink water, so that's slurry and digestate. And the same with this one. So if you're going to want to haul clean water around, or let's say air, compressed air around, you're going to need one of these trailers. Go check out the animal pins. Have any custom animal pins? You have our placeable doormat, $100. So there is the sleep trigger right there in the doormat. Sleep, not sleep. So pretty much we could decide if we wanted to change our farmhouse to maybe be the one next door. We could do that. So we could stay at the FS Club farmhouse. All we got to do is place our doormat down there. Or you could decide to stay at the uh, well, the Farmer Klein Vacation House if you want and uh, put your doormat right there instead. And then that will become your farmhouse. So that, let's get back here and start doing a little tour of the farm. We have our orange pickup truck. Welcome to Sussex Farms. And just like in 17, we've got a pair of cats. That's keeping a keen eye on our chicken coop. 
Here we have our chickens. We have our food trough. And then we have our egg spawn point. Cats are keeping an eye out on the chickens. That's for sure. Maybe we need to keep an eye out on those cats. Well, I gotta say about that. Here we have a wash bay. Already equipped with a power washer. Pretty cool. Here's some of our equipment. Lights. Lights, camera action. Now inside here we have one of our storage sheds. And this one we have automatic lights. I like how these lights turn on in rows in a in a chain. Who else has been in the buildings where you turn on the lights and you kind of have that effect? That's pretty cool. Here we have all of our attachments. Our front weight, our forks, our loader arms, and our fent tractor. We have the main farm silo here. And here is your fill trigger. And then basically come over here. You need to turn the silo on. And once you turn the silo on, then you can basically make use of it. Let's check. See, we don't have a trigger, a fill trigger, until we turn this on. And now we have the telltale silo rectangle, which is our fill trigger. So if you're trying to fill from here and you just can't, make sure you come over here and turn this on. Lights that light up. We have a little switch that turns on. And the number there is basically liters per second. How fast this silo will fill your trailer. 2,500 liters per second. On and off the lights. And then over here we can turn on and off our dryer. So if we've got dry grain, we don't need the dryer to run constantly. We can come over here and turn it off. But maybe we've got a little moisture in our crop. We can turn the dryer on and let it run and help dry our grain out. So that is pretty cool. So what you're going to find is anywhere on the map where you see these white and black ash marks, that is basically telling you that that is a trigger you can interact with. It is not a fill trigger. It's just a little fun thing that you can do to turn something on or off. Whereas, of course, then you have your other trigger markers that are going to show you fill points, dump points, and various other things around the map. Here we have our silo dump light. Again, here we have the white hashes. We basically come over here and we can put this, open and close the lid. Keep the weather, keep the dirt, keep the rodents out of our grain dump. Keep that lid down at all times when we're not using it. Plenty of vehicle storage definitely on the main farm here. Every building appears to have its own light switch. That is so cool. Lights and that behavior never, never get old. Over here we have fill triggers for seed, fertilizer, lime, herbicide, etc. We have a fill trigger for water. Again, we have to turn it on. 2,000 liters per hour. Turn it off. We get the little beep. You give us a little indication that something's happened. Then over here we have the pig area. These are built into the map. We can't sell these. Uh, and then we also can't buy them if we wanted to put them down anywhere else. So we have our food trough. Draw trigger. And then we have our water trough. 
And normally when I do these videos, I activate the animal um, pen extension mod, which is this water valve mod, just to see if the mod author implemented that in their map. Doesn't look like he did because it's not pre-placed, but that doesn't mean you can't use it by simply placing it yourself. Here, have our animal delivery trigger. So, and then right beside it we have our cow shed. Of course, we have our feed trough. Love that we have the sliding door on there. And this is going to be our straw trigger. Lights on and off. We have our milk. Water. And of course we have our delivery point. For our cows. And then we have the sheep around back. So we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. We have our one silage bunker for our cows. There we have the trigger. See, do we have another silage bunker over here? We do have a bit of a placeable area here where we could put other buildings down, should we so wish. Go ahead and go around the back. Down the hill here, and then field five is this grass area. We have our wool trigger, water trough, food trough. This is our wool trigger. No, it's not. Sorry. This is our animal buy trigger. Yeah, I have been super busy tonight with all the mods that got released this week. And these two maps and the Ferguson pack. I've done videos on all of those so far. So I have not had a chance to do my due diligence in kind of exploring this map at this point. So let's say I'm kind of, kind of winging it. And that, guys, is pretty much the main farm. So what we're going to do is we're going to get set up to do a bit of a aerial fly around. And then we're going to come back to the shop, buy our Mahindra, and then do a bit of a drive around the map. All right, so let's take to the skies. We'll get a bit of a visual overview of the main farm here. Here we have field five. Six is over here to our left. And then we have those square fields right across the street. Pretty easy to buy. They're pretty low cost. You could merge them together if you wanted to and then still have that kind of grassy, rocky tree area in the middle. So let's see here. Let's figure out where the shop is so we know where to end. And I guess let's start by going in this direction. And we'll go around the map in kind of a counterclockwise direction. Waterfall into a painting pond, and this is in the cow area itself. Mm -hmm. Get your free water from your cows, like there. Up here on the plateau, we've got two big long fields, field one and two. Easily combine these together if you really want to. They are... 24.75 acres each. Now, this area right here, this one's pretty cool and pretty slick. This is where we're going to get our lime from. We'll show that off in a bit more detail when we do our drive around. Then over here we can get fuel. We can buy diesel fuel, I believe, from that location. And then we have a potato cell point over here. We have a nice tunnel that we have can go through. Microwave tower. We got all kinds of all 
all kinds of ambient noises. Got some sirens over here. I'm hearing. Additional fields, additional farms. Got a nice forestry area up here. This was the reset point back in Farm Sim 17. Let's go ahead and do something. Let's take and reset something. Reset our pickup truck. And just see. Where did it go? Well, we'll find our pickup truck later. And we'll know where the reset point is. But in 17, the reset point was basically right here. Pretty cool. It's kind of like a tow yard. Here we have a secondary farm. Some of this may be newer. Not really sure. Can't really remember 100%. Got some greenhouses down here. And this is the most exciting part about the map for me personally. There is a racetrack down here. Come down here and get your tractor racing on. Race your Mahindras around. Cool little interesting touch. We've got a couple placeable zones. Construction area. Various cell points. Buy points. Like I said, we're going to go into a lot more detail as we drive around and look at all of these coming down here to the dockyard and one of the cell points is actually on this container ship pretty cool here we have the bga that we own oh like i said lots of background ambient sounds on the map more placeable zones over here. Billy E.G. Bakery and CLEP nod to his friends, YouTube. Forest there. He used the wonderful trend of having a playground. Really cool. And then we have another farm kind of down here in the lower south west of the map. And we've got our farm shop right up here on the hill. And then an airport right next door to it. Castle. Castle Sussex, if you will, I guess, up here on top of the hill so that there we go there's the reset point the reset point for 19 is back here at the shop let's go ahead and get our Mahindra and do a bit of a drive around and really for this map properly here at the shop we've got our shop trigger and then inside here we have our customize and repair trigger. Gotta bring our Mahindra in here. And then we come up here to the workbench. And there we can sell and repair our Mahindra. One bay. Have a, sh a trigger in each each shop bay. That's pretty cool. Here we have a cheese factory. And then we have the milk factory. What I understand right now, the cheese factory is just decoration. Although there might be 
Never know, there might be transport contracts that originate here at the cheese factory. I'm just checking for a uh, possible trigger on that. I'm not really seeing it, but you never know. I want to understand there's going to be all kinds of interesting transport contracts. And over here we have the milk factory to deliver our our milk. Custom cheese factory semi trailers there. Something I want to check. Just out of curiosity. Because this might be something going on in these. Check. No, oh, okay. I think in in 17 there was some some funny business that was going on sometimes inside those little sheds on the screens. Right, I know I'm driving the wrong way. That's just just how it's gonna work. So in here we have the airport. The airport is for the most part decorational, but it does serve a purpose. We have a couple of cell points here at the airport. We have the airport cell point right here. Which will accept various products. So most of our grains we can basically bring to the airport in bulk. And then they'll, I guess, palletize them up and ship them out. We can sell diesel here at the airport. And then we have another fun little thing over here. We have some markers on the ground. Check. We can left click. Make the helicopter take off. Left click again to make it land. Left click to open the cargo doors. All kinds of cool things going on here. Then over here we have a her airplane and we can play a little bit of Indiana Jones. Well hopefully not. You know the scene where uh, where well one of the bad guys kind of gets uh, taken out by a propeller. Come over here and you can Stop the track, stop the plane if it's just annoying you. You don't want that background noise. Go over here and turn it off. There you go. Don't have to worry about it. And really like the windsock flying there. Just like in just like in 17, the control tower here has a special function. Come in here, the control tower. Got some more of those triggers. And we can turn air traffic control off or on. So periodically, we're going to have a big, big jet fly over the map. Almost on cue, I hear, hear jet sounds. So we hear a big jet fly over every so often. Uh, basically, if that annoys you, go in here and turn it off at the air traffic control tower on the uh, on the airport let's head back out and I guess we'll go around back here sawmill
while we're going down to the sawmill, let me know, guys. Did, uh, did you all play this map in 17? What did you think about it? Are you glad to see it back here in 19? I tell you, I really didn't have a chance to play it too terrible much in 17. By the time the map came out, I kind of had a full slate of commitments and projects already started. That by no means meant that I didn't like the map. It just meant that I acknowledge that there's just way too many maps and not enough time in the day. Down here to the sawmill. And like I said, I'm not going to be able to point out every single cool little interactive trigger. So keep an eye out for those white and black hashed areas. And uh, give them a little click and see what they do when you find them. Here we have our wood chip sub point. Now we'll come around and then we have our log sub point here. Once again, all kinds of ambient sounds here on the map. Head back up the hill and see if we can't find our way to the animal dealer. Livestock market this direction. Following the signs. Just keep following the signs, right? Here we have the Sussex livestock market. And here at the livestock market, we have a bale sell point. A strong grass. Here we can buy manure. And again, before we can buy manure, we have to turn it on. 1,500 liters to purchase manure. Straw barn, manure buy, and then we have our animal dealer itself. Now, the animal dealer does have unique triggers for each animal uh, that will show up if you bring a trailer up here. If you just come up here to activate, pretty much you can buy everything at all of the triggers. If you bring a trailer in, this is where you're going to get your sheep, pigs, your cows, and then your horses. wanted to, I could come over here and buy up some manure. I don't really want to put manure in the back of my nice clean Mahindra. Sussex Farm. Go ahead and go way through the tunnel. You want to make that little house there your farmhouse you could easily do it with that cool placemat one of these houses over here I'm gonna go ahead and Kind of divert around this way, and we're going to check out the mill up here. Mill cell point. I 
nice animations kind of a, a mill grinding sound and over here we have our horses this is not on land that we own so we'd have to buy this buy the horse area for sixteen thousand dollars not too terrible bad do have collisions on the hedges but there is a way of turning them off we're gonna have to see if we can remember how to do that or not here we have the horse area draw trigger or horse delivery trigger food trough and our water trough little riding ring here right, let's continue on with our tour we got a lot to look at let's head back this way and we'll check out the silage area Castle Sussex, I'm calling it, up on the hill. Here we have Big Daddy's Poplar. And this is where we can buy silage and sell chaff. Leave. Let's take a closer look at this. We have a small silage farm. And the small silage farm is going to buy chaff. And as a result of buying chaff from you, you can then come over here and purchase silage, 1,500 liters per hour or per second. Once you turn those on, but they stay on at least, I guess, for some period of time. Now, this is not a one-to-one -one ratio. This isn't a factory. This isn't, you have to deliver chaff before you can buy silage. It's just a buy point and a sell point combined. Now, scattered around, we're gonna see these sheds. Maybe you've got that hash mark means there might be something in here we can interact with. Uh, we can show our hide popper bales. Pop, pop goes the weasel. There are bales or poplar pallets are gone. Pop again and they're back. So anytime you see a door with that underneath of it, Give it a click and just see, you might find there's some cool little interactivity that you can do with the map. Head on down south, kind of into town. And we've got Abbott's Farm, Vehicle Shop Airport. Abbott's Road. Tunnel in. So these areas that don't appear to be anything as far as a cell point, they very may well be involved in custom delivery contracts. Something to be aware of. Over here we have the wool and now cotton cell points. Down back before. There's the wool and cotton trigger. Round back. Yeah, 
fuel. Come and buy fuel. No doubt. <clears throat> a bit of a car wash. Car wash. Out of order. It's not working. Come over here and give it a try. This doesn't quite work. But what this really is, is a place for you to sell water. Like I said, this really doesn't serve a purpose other than just giving you a fun little thing to interact with. Look for those little hash marks. Kind of be a little mini game, if you will, of going around and trying to find all those. See how many you can find and tell me how many I missed. Here we can sell some more water, I believe. these dynamic oh they're static Abbott's Wood this is where that nice playground was that I mentioned as well as the forest uh, the forest walking path, kind of a uh, pondy area. Folks just chilling out. Really nice area through here. Really nicely done. Whoa! <laughs> through the woods there, that was that silage farm that we were taking a look at. Abbott's Farm. This is the farm I mentioned that is in the southwest of the map. If you want to buy this, $169,000 comes with field 18. So this is this is not a fuel fill point. You actually need to fill that with fuel uh, before you can get fuel out. You have liquid fertilizer, herbicide, and these aren't. I think I mentioned earlier that these were fill points. These are storage. You have to actually put product in these before you can take product out. According to the description, those are all linked. So if you put seed in one, you'll be able to get the seed out of another one. That's kind of a cool little rustic farm. If you're looking for something maybe to gameplay a little bit smaller with. Here behind these houses. Mm 
view of the river. Back to the road. Cut through what looks like an empty lot. Another cool playground. Here we have fruit and veg. Wondering if these are greenhouses that we can put water and manure in. I don't think they are, but they might be. You might want to bring down water and manure to these and just see what might happen. And I believe in I believe in 17 uh, at night this place closed up and all of these fruits and vegetable uh, displays basically went away. That might be something to check out. Here we have Sealy E.G. Bakery. Complete with custom, custom pallets, custom delivery vans. Here's the cell point. Got those trigger marker. That's where you're going to flip the trigger to open and close the gate there. Across the road we have purified air. Where we can buy purified air to then sell to other areas. You're going to need one of those custom anchors that come with the map in the tools and miscellaneous category. Down here you have the Sealy P cell point with crates of something. Again, you have the trigger, you have the gates that lift up. Various placeable areas. You can put your own production facilities down or just any other placeable that you might want. Let's see if we can't cut across here. A little bit of a shortcut. Oh, we'll have collisions. This area was cool in 17. Remember there was some um, there was some ruffian cars down here somewhere that was uh, playing some bassy music. And again, people walk through here. Old nature walk area. Cool little details like that really just make a map feel like its own. And not just another cookie cutter. Carve it out, put some buildings, put some placeables, put some... Uh, Cell points down. Now let's head on over here to the the dock area. Hope we can figure out how to get out of here. Yep. We have our biogas plant. <clears throat> Too big. Three sided silage bunkers. We have our digestate trigger. Over here. And then, of course, our digester. Over here. Open it up. 
again, always look for these white and black trigger markers. Give you an indication that something might be interactable. Scales. And down here to the dock. Dock's got cool little tricks up its sleeve. Got the marina sell point and Spectacle Island import and export. Oh, is that a is that an Easter egg hint? Are we gonna maybe get Spectacle Island? Farm Sim 19, is that the next project for Alien Jim? That was another map that he did in 17. It was quite popular, I think. Uh, that was one where you kind of had to build out things. You had to clear the farm of debris. You had to uh, clear out um, grassy areas to make into a farm and the fields. So down here we've got some cool little things. have this filling into a cargo ship. We can just turn that on and off if we want. Then down here we can buy total mixed rations. Need to come over here, click this, and once we click that, we have our trigger marker here, and we need to wait this thing to rotate around. And then once it rotates it around, we can basically get total mixed rations out of there. We can buy it. Dark infested water. Dark infested water. What that's supposed to mean? Um. Um. Uh, that doesn't look good. There's sharks in these air waters. See if we can get underneath the water. See the shark. There it is. Watch out for the shark. Yeah, for Sharky. And then once you basically, you can see that sliding back now. Basically, the, the trigger is only active for a period of time, and then it basically turns itself off and resets itself. <clears throat> and over here we have... Another cell point for diesel fuel. And then we have one more cell point down here at the dock. But it is on this container ship. We have a cool little, cool little plank that's been set up, but we don't wanna we don't wanna fall in the shark infested waters. So let's come over here and lower lower the plates then we can drive onto the ship and down here we're gonna find our sub point 
we can just dump our product directly into the hold of the ship. And hope we don't have some super high capacity trailer that unloads un unexpectedly slow uh, because then the plates will tip up we'll have to use the planks to run over here and turn them on seagull up on top of the container this is just a standard size map but it's just taking a quite a while to, to go around and look at everything and and just explore there's a lot going on here more than just your standard farm sim map that's for sure Here we have the garden sale. Look at that. Is that a huge? That's a cruise ship. So here we have the pure water factory where we can buy water. We can then sell someplace. Got these cool, cool custom pallets all over the place. I suspect we're going to see those in transport contracts show up. That one there. Another big placeable area down here by the pure water facility. Then in here we have a location. Well, it's a white icon, so we're going to be able to buy something. What are we buying here? Take a look. Farm silo. So this is our farm silo. Okay. We have another farm silo down here. 4,000 liters per hour. This disc has no OS. The, the boot. <laughs> uh, that one has failed. That is funny. I don't care who you are. That is funny. Let's back up here and just see some sort of liquid storage maybe for herbicide and um, liquid fertilizer so wheat barley oat canola sunflower soybeans corn potatoes Sugar cane, mixed rations, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, nor pig food. So pretty much all of your uh, all of your farm products can be stored and retrieved there. Then we have a garden center. And we have an unloading bay. So this is this is pretty cool. Alien Jim has done this on other maps. Uh, this is where you can bring pallets, leftover pallets that you don't need anymore. Bring them in here, and basically it will buy them back. That's pretty cool. You have your cell point here at the garden center, and then we have over here. Another one of those sheds. 
Little stripies at the door. And we hedge collisions on or off. There was a trimmer. And now our hedge collisions should be turned off. There's that jet. There's that jet. We can turn that on and off. Like I said, up at the air traffic control. So next time I find me a hedge, I'm going to drive through that thing. Here we have buy straw, buy grass and hay. We'll get a straw here with the wheel litter. Get our grass or hay here from the bucket loader. Down the road. We can buy or sell slurry. Here we can get slurry out, like a slurry storage. Where are you in? So this is where you sell your slurry. That's where you're gonna buy it. Again, you've got the got the screen you gotta activate in order to get that out. And then you have a manure cell point, I believe this one is. This did something in 17. Let's see, does it still do something? Nope. Here's hedges. So if you're the type of player that I don't play maps with hedge collisions, turn it off the garden center, play the darn map. This kind of player, I only play maps with hedge collisions, well then leave them on. So the map will work for either player. And when you get a little frustrated, you can bring your friends down here to the racing track. And uh, see who can get around the fastest. Maybe do a little demolition derby. In the, uh, in the center. Fun little area. Here we have premium quality oxygenated water. Like when you can buy water, we can sell purified air. And then we have lemon fresh. So here we have some greenhouses. Another shed. That one's locked. So what I heard from Alien Jim was basically if the shed's locked, <clears throat> he's basically reserving that for some potential future use. And these are the uh, these are the greenhouses that you supply water and manure to, and then basically they will provide you a little bit of money per hour. Okay, you get some, you get some lemon trees growing in there. 
And we've got custom some pallets of lemons. Almost done, guys. We've got Plumpton Farm. Then we've got the lime and the sweet potatoes. And I think that might just about do us. Plumpton Farm. And this is another area that we can buy $188,000 for this one. Like we might have another area where we put manure and water and possibly get out tomato pallets. I'm sure, when we put water in here, this thing's going to turn on and spray. Here we have more of those silo fill areas for our seed and fertilizer. We have another farm silo over here. So far we have, I guess, what, three, three distinct farms and several placeable areas. That is a silage bunker. Over here, this used to be the reset point, I think, in the 17 version of the map. Here we have another repair customize location. And as you can see from the trigger markers, pretty much have to be either in the building or really close to the building. Here we can sell diesel fuel or we can sell DEF. Not really sure where we buy DEF from, but we can sell it over here, I believe. Cool little pond area down there. Another playground. Here we have fuel storage. We gotta put fuel in there. And we will get fuel out inside this building. This is kind of the farm workshop across the street. The way this works. Pull up until you hit the front. Raise it up and come over here. And now you can do your servicing. You're done. Lower it down. So you can't do your servicing unless you raised it up. Importantly, you have this driven all the way to the front. And then this is where you're going to get your fuel out. 
We need to refuel. Go through the tunnel and then we'll just have a couple more things to look at and i'm sure there's some areas that i probably missed like i don't remember maria grains oh yeah that's that's at the dock might be some spots here on the map that aren't marked that i may have not looked at but that's part of the fun is get the map and explore it yourself Trying to figure out where all of those other little interactive triggers Haley and Jim put in. Here we have the sweet potato cell point. Obviously a cell point for our root crops. Potatoes, maybe sugar beets. And then across the way here we have... Free lime. Uh, we have to park our trailer here. Okay. And we come over here to the building. Turn it on. And watch this thing. Watch what this does. Big bucket. Scoops it up out of the hole. Rotates the crane around. Brings the bucket down. Lowers it down. And at that point you can get your full of lime and drive off. Here's where you can buy diesel fuel. Leave. And there you go, guys. That is Sussex Farm in a nutshell. I know this video is kind of long, but like I said, there is a ton going on on this map. Go ahead, download it. Give it a look for yourself. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of Sussex Farm? Did you play it in... 17 and if not are you gonna give it a try in 19 and until next time happy farming be sure to click that like button subscribe and ring that notification bell